Choosing the right chords. With this presentation, you ought to learn the basics of organizing harmonies so that you know what chords to choose when you're building a basic song. In this lesson, we're going to be covering a few different things. First, we're going to review what musical keys are. Then, we're going to figure out how scales are constructed in relation to a key. Once we've done that, we're going to cover how to build basic chords within that key. And finally, we're going to talk about choosing chord patterns that fit into that key and make the whole song make sense. A musical key is basically a collection of tones or sounds that are designed to make one of them in particular sound special, like a musical home or a center of gravity. That tone that sounds like the musical center of gravity is what the key is named after. So, if that special tone is C, then you can say that the music is in the key of C. That special center of gravity tone is called the tonic. A musical key is kind of like a solar system. There's one note that's like the sun, and the other notes are like the planets rotating around it. Choosing a key helps musicians organize their work and keep it from sounding random. That being said, it's likely that most, if not all, of the music you've ever heard has been written to be in a particular key. And we are going to be using C major for our discussions. C major tends to be a favorite key for music teachers because it does not use any tones that are modified with accidentals like sharps or flats. You don't really even need to worry about those so much right now. Once you've determined what you want your musical key to be, the next step is to organize the notes in the key to what we call a musical scale. The notes are often organized in ascending order, starting and ending with that main center of gravity tonic note. This type of organization is what makes up a scale. Many musical ideas are based on going up or down parts of a musical scale, or from jumping around the notes within that scale. So, if you want to be a successful performer or songwriter, it's usually a good idea to spend some time practicing singing or playing different kinds of scales on your instrument. Once you have your scale, you can begin creating chords built off of the notes of that scale. Chords can be created, that is to say these basic types of chords, triads. These can be created by stacking alternating notes taken from the key. So, this first chord in the example here is a C major chord because it takes the notes C, E, and G. Now, these chords are assigned a number based on their position within the scale. A C chord is built on the first step of that scale, so it is labeled with a Roman numeral 1. The G chord, in comparison, is built on the fifth step of that scale and so it is labeled with a 5. Uppercase Roman numerals indicate that a chord is major sounding, and lowercase ones indicate that it is minor sounding. And then lastly, this degree sign for number 7 indicates that it is a diminished chord. But again, we can cover that more deeply some other time. It's important to notice how the Roman numerals are constant, no matter which key you decide to use. It is the order of the notes built on that scale that count. Once you have your scale and the different kinds of chords built from that scale, you can use these basic chords to build a song choosing the chord patterns that highlight a particular key. Selecting three to four chords from the formula shown here will provide a catchy pattern that makes musical sense. Now at this point, I'd like for you to take a moment, maybe pause the video, and experiment with this formula. Choose a series of chords based on the Roman numerals from this graph, and then play those chords as they are related to the C major scale. If you follow the pattern, you should find that it makes a certain sort of musical logic. Now, in most Euro-American music, there are two kinds or modes of keys that are used most commonly. Each one tends to have different emotions or feelings attached to them. The major key is designed to sound happy or light, and one example is Jason Mraz's I'm Yours. A minor key, for example, is designed to sound sad or dark, 
like Alicia Keys' Piano and I, a much more emotional or sad-sounding type of song. And notice how the scales are built slightly differently from a major scale to a minor scale. In these following two examples, we've got a C major scale like we've seen before, and now a C minor scale. And in this minor scale, the third, sixth, and seventh notes of the scale, which in this case are E, A, and B, have flats added to them, which is to say that they sound a little bit lower. That's how you change a major scale into a minor scale. The notes of a minor scale are a little bit different than the major scale, that means that the chords we built off of those are also going to be a little bit different. But I should note that the fifth chord of a minor scale tends to be shifted back to the major version. We don't need to go into why we do this so much, but it does tend to make the return to our center of gravity, our tonic, sound a little bit stronger. The formula for choosing chords from minor keys is a little bit different than the major one, but if you follow this same type of routine, again, your song will make a certain type of musical, logical sense. Now again, take a brief moment, maybe pause the video, and give this a try for yourself. We've got the minor scale formula on one side and the C minor key on the other. Pick a series of Roman numerals following that formula, and then try to play the corresponding chords from the C minor scale. And that will cover the basics. As you get a little bit more comfortable choosing chords and choosing things from these systems of chords, we can begin to add more complicated elements to create an extra level of depth to our music. In future lessons, we can begin to talk about things like chord inversions, modal mixture, seventh chords, and lastly, something called secondary chords. But we'll save that for another time. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this helpful. If you do, please like and subscribe for more content coming out soon.